Hello, everybody. My name is Paola Viegas. I'm a student in majoring in environmental health. I am doing an internship at the Environmental Health Department from National Institute of Health. I will present you preliminary results about knowledge, attitudes, and practice related to prevention of mosquito-borne disease in a urban community in El Salvador. This study was carried out between research from National Institute of Health and the University of El Salvador. This presentation has been divided into five sections. First, in the introduction, I will present a brief background about the issue of mosquito-borne disease in El Salvador. Second, the objectives of the research. Third, the methodology about how data were collected. Four, preliminary results about knowledge, attitudes, and practice, and the sanitation condition about the prevention of mosquito-borne disease. Finally, preliminary conclusion. Mosquito-borne disease caused a serious health problem in El Salvador. Early 20th century, malaria caused thousands of deaths. However, for carried out by Ministry of Health, almost had mitigated it completely at the end of the century. In recent years, the main disease transmitted by mosquitoes in El Salvador are the engaging conjunction. The disease is especially affect to vulnerable groups, such as children, pregnant women, seniors, and people with chronic disease. Even too, the diseases do not produce high economic loss, which contributes to the collapse of the public health system. Over the years, the South Korean public health system has invested large amounts of research to minimize the problem to campaigns against mosquito borne disease. According to a report of Ministry of Health between 2013 and 2014, more than 18 million of mosquito breeding were inspected. To control of adult mosquitoes, about 2 million insecticide applications were performed, generating a significant impact on the economy and environment. In addition, government and NGOs did a large effort to control mosquito-borne disease through community education. Despite this, the population is still affected by the recent disease as the chikungunya outbreak. During 2014, World Health Organization reported more than 53,000 people infected with dengue in El Salvador. To address this problem, it's very necessary the contribution of the population to strengthen the action carried out by the Ministry of Health and avoid a spread of mosquitoes. The objective of this study was to identify what knowledge, attitudes, practice, and sanitation conditions for the prevention of mosquito borne disease in a urban community from San Salvador. This was a cross-sectional study carried out in a urban community from Ilopango, which belonged to the metropolitan area from San Salvador. This study was conducted from January to August 2015. This study area was selected due to the Ilopango report the major number of cases of mosquito borne disease in 2014, according to data from Ministry of Health El Salvador. The survey was designed to investigate which are knowledge, attitudes, and practices regarding the prevention of diseases transmitted by mosquitoes. Also, sociodemographic data and access to basic surveys were taking account to develop this study. The questionnaire was divided, taking account dependent and independent variables. Dependent variables are sociodemographic data and access to basic surveys. Independent variables are knowledge, attitudes, and practice. Additionally, an observation was conducted to know about the prevention measures taken by each person interviewed. It was observed whether there were mosquito breeding and if the water story has mosquito larvae. The questionnaire was given to a representative of each household, reaching a total of 110 house representatives all who were older than 15 years of age. Remaining, 80 houses could not be included in the questionnaire because they were abandoned. There was no representative that could be traced or they refused to participate. Result, this slide shows sociodemographic data. According to graph A about gender, 62% people survey were women and 38% were men. According to graph B, about the age of people survey, 56% were older than 4 years old, and 37% were 
were between 21 or 39 years old. As shown in the graph C about academic degree, those interviews have a basic academic level, 39% attending elementary school, 39 to high school, and only 9% of population survey has not any academic degree. Finally, the graph D about occupation. Shown that 36% of people interviewed are housewife, 29% carry out other activities, 16% are employees, 10% are merchants, and only 1% are farmers. In this slide, you can appreciate results about basic service. The graphic A shows that almost 100% of people survey has access to drinking water. However, in graph B, shows that 90% of the service is regular. By the other hand, in the graphic C, you can see frequency of garbage removal. 77% people interviewed mentioned that they have this service three times per week, 12% every day, and 11% twice a week. Other services at Wiswater are provided almost 100%. This slide shows the result that people should have about knowledge regarding diseases transmitted by mosquitoes and preventive actions. Two analyses of variables were considered to have acceptable knowledge if people correctly answer 80% of the questions and unacceptable if they have less than 80%. To evaluate the knowledge, six questions were considered. Diseases transmitted by mosquitoes. How mosquito-borne diseases are transmitted? When are these mosquitoes likely to bite? Places are considered idle for digestible post-mosquito larvae and poopy. Prevent the action to avoid mosquito reproduction. And prevent the action to avoid mosquito bites. First two questions were measured taking account 10% respectively due to the degree of difficulty. And remaining questions were measured taking account 20%. As a result, an acceptable knowledge of 74% was obtained. Despite that, knowledge was acceptable, people should be has poor knowledge about mosquito borne diseases and knowledge about transmission mode. This graph represents the medium of which people obtain the knowledge about preventive action to avoid mosquito borne diseases. According to result, people have obtained knowledge through the television. Other common medium are radio, health promoter, medical doctor, campaign developed by local school or newspaper. This slide should our result about attitude regarding diseases transmitted by mosquitoes and prevent the actions. Two analysis of variables that like our school was considered. This met consists in describing quantitative value to qualitative data to make it amenable to a statistical analysis. A numerical value is assigned to each potential choice and any fire for all the responsible is computed at the end of the evaluation or survey. To evaluate the attitudes, the following five questions were considered. Question about preventing measure at your home to avoid mosquito breeding. Disease severity. Who is responsible? To prevent larva reproduction at home, it is fumigation that best met to prevent larvae mosquito breeding. It is ministerial health responsible to prevent larvae reproduction at home. If question had five answer options, but people only had to choose the appropriate answer. These answers were 1. Strongly agree, 2. Agree, 3. Neither agree or disagree, 4. Disagree. By strongly disagree. To categorize the favorable and unfavorable attitudes, measure of central tendency were taken account. Favorable attitudes were considered if result were under median, and unfavorable if data were about median. The graph shows that 59.1% of people interviewed has favorable attitudes and 40.9% were unfavorable attitudes. The practice would evaluate two inspections at each of the homes and the respondents. 
for the following preventive action to avoid larvae reproduction were evaluated. Drain standard water, use of water containers, if people have sufficient water containers to be a logical control of mosquito reproduction. If people cover water containers to reduce mosquitoes. Secondly, we evaluated that following preventive action to avoid mosquito bites. In this case, only we evaluate if home have window or door screens and use a mosquito net. As conclusion. We can say that people should be have acceptable knowledge and favorable attitudes. However, the observation shows that they do not have acceptable practice, due to that they do not practice important preventive actions as drain stand water, wash of water containers and cover water containers to reduce mosquitoes. Moreover, in the community, the access to drinking water is irregular, which implies that the population stored water during long periods of time. This practice could contribute to the proliferation of mosquitoes in housing if done improperly. Thanks for your attention.